Hey everybody, we are here and we're going to lunch at a place called Osaka. Uh, my friends and I used to go when I was in high school. I haven't had it in a long time. And we're celebrating my birthday today. Uh, but it's oh! almost over for oh! September. I know, it's the it's it's Dad, not over for September. It's Dad, still mid-September. Don't, don't record me. Don't record you. Uh, yeah, I can I find you. Me. I can find you. Yeah, watch out, Tim. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> there she is. She's back there. Ah! You got there, Sober! Yeah. You got there, Sober! Oh, we got you! We got you, Katie! We got you! We got you! You can't escape the camera. We got you. She's there. Dad, don't you video me. She goes back and forth between wanting to be on it and then, like, Dad, don't you video me. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? So I'm a September birthday, most of you know that. So we're at a Japanese restaurant actually yeah. for lunch. And like I was saying, my friends and I used to come here after church, like on a lot of Sundays. Four of us are here now, but mommy had to take Logan to the Minute Clinic at Walgreens because Logan has been coughing a lot lately. I don't know if you would have caught it in the videos I or not. I feel bad for him. I know, I know, it's a poor guy. You hate to see any of our kids not feeling well, but when Logan's sick, there's something extra sad about it. I don't know what it is, but he's so, he's so helpless when he's sick. I feel terrible for him, and uh, the good news is it's it's only a sinus infection. It could have been walking pneumonia or something far worse, um, but uh, they, they're they gonna put him on an antibiotic. Hopefully he'll be better pretty soon. There'll be an antibiotic, and they're, he's supposed to use Flonase, which I don't think we're gonna be able to get him to use Flonase. I don't even really like using Flonase. That's a weird sensation that it takes getting used to. And then um, there's one more thing they're gonna do for him. I can't remember what it was. So anyways, Mom's on her way now, and we're gonna go into the restaurant because they might be starting to get busy here for lunch. So we want to make sure we get a table. Why is it neck moving? Uh, those are called gills, and that's how a fish breathes underwater. Ooh. Look how fat this guy is. Look how big, how big he is. What? Hello. Make sure not to knock on the glass. Keep your hands Hello. out of it. Hello, big Sam. <laughs> are you naming the fish? Yeah. <laughs> Little, little Look at that big one. That big one, yeah, that's big, a big one big back there. Orange. What do you think? Eat big sand? Sand? No, they don't eat sand. Oh. Those are just little pebbles razor. and sand and things little in the razor. bottom. An alligator? Ooh, an it's alligator. Real. You're right, it's not real. It's fake. Oh, hey, they're eating the alligator. Yeah, oh, look, a little house. Hello, extra large Sam. Do you have them all named by now? Uh, no, I, I haven't think... named this one. Big Juper. Little Juper. Hello. Little Alina. Razor. Alina? Yeah. Is Alina your favorite princess now? Sam. Yeah? Volcano. Oh. A volcano? Sam. Ooh. Hey, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that scene in Nemo, Finding Nemo. Oh, yeah. Where the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna call this one Nemo. So we took Logan to the doctor. He had a slight fever and he has a sinus infection. So he's giving two medicines and hopefully we'll be good to go for this weekend. Poor baby. He brought his little stuffed animal, a stormtrooper bear, and make him feel better. Bear was also sick. So I had to, we had to give him medicine home. They give him medicine too. And speaking of this weekend. What are we doing? It's gonna get super no, loud. Nobody even knows. Don't do it in here. Yeah, I'm not going to announce it in here because we might get kicked out of Osaka. <laughs> you got to hang around to find out what's happening this weekend. That means you can't fast forward through this video. You're going to have to watch every second. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, what the chicken? That one. Oh. This one right here. Whoa, look at all that rice. <laughs> Isn't that a crazy amount of rice? Look at all that rice. That's so many. That's a ton of rice, man. I didn't eat all that rice. You're gonna eat it all? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yes. 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 Hello again, Zoo family. Katie's following me in here. <laughs> I uh, we're, we're home now. 
and it's getting later in the evening and I wanted to show you some of the gifts the kids got for me for my birthday. They've already kind of been assimilated into my collection. They know I'm a mug collector and whenever it's Father's Day or my birthday or they just want to say we love you dad, they get me mugs. It's like a love language and you want to show them? Okay, show them one at a time. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. That one was from Caleb. And then the next one is the next one to it. There, look at that. <laughs> it's like the Mad Hatter, yeah. It's the Mad Hatter from... What movie is that from, Katie? I don't know. I don't want to see this movie. It's Alice in Wonderland. You've never seen Alice in Wonderland yet? No. Oh, we'll have to We'll have to change that. And then here's a couple of others. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, careful, careful, careful. Very careful with that one. He's crazy. Mr. Potato Head. That's Mr. a pretty cool Potato one. Mr. Potato Head. And Logan got me that one. And then this set over here... Uh, everyone kind of collectively completed for me. This is the set that I, um, I had already gotten this Tailspin mug before. And then they added Chip and Dale and Darkwing Duck to it. And that is a four mug set. The only one missing now is, um, let's see. It was Chip and Dale, Tailspin, Darkwing Duck, and... Darkwing Duck? Uh, what? what was the other one? DuckTales! That's it. Check it out. It's my mug from Just a Glazin. It came out so good. Oh, I love this. It's so cool. Why did you McDonald's cup there. That would be your mother probably coming in here and talking to me on my lunch break and leaving her cup what in here. What is this? That is me and my mommy. That's my mommy. That's your mom? That is my mom. Is that um, Papa and Abuela? Uh, no, Papa and Abuela. Abuela is not my mommy. And it's... Pop Pop's my dad, but Abuela is his... Uh, wife and she's like she's called a stepmother to me and uh, that lady is my mommy but she died Katie 11 years ago I wish we could see her she's never she's she never even saw me yeah she never Not even me met you either yeah she never met you definitely so they gave me those gifts on my birthday they um were so excited to give them to me they wouldn't even let it go one day later they didn't want to wait till the weekend and quite honestly, Melanie wasn't going to chance that one of them wouldn't blurb it out, like <laughs> accidentally say, you know, what the gift was that they had gotten me. So it was really cute. They know mugs are just part of me. Like, yeah, as you can tell, I don't know. I think my collection is up to 60 or 70 of them now. But uh, it's funny, Katie has never asked who my mother is. That was interesting that she saw the photo and immediately asked. And she doesn't know it yet, but my birthdays are actually a difficult day for me. Um, my mother passed away two days before my birthday back in 2007. Melanie and I had been married one year. Around the time we started to celebrate our anniversary in 2007, my mother's health began to really go downhill. She had cancer back in 2004 and had fought it, gone through chemo and radiation, and came out cancer-free. Uh, and she was healthy until 2007 when the cancer came back and it came back with a vengeance and Within a month it you know, she went from being fully healthy sitting with me eating lunch at a barbecue place called fat boys uh, And 30 days later she was gone. It, it happened that fast um, You know, I miss her every day of my life, but my birthdays are particularly hard. See, she died on September 11th, which is actually a national day of mourning for Americans because of 9-11, because of September 11th, 2001. So September 11th has a double meaning for me. And then my birthdays are just really hard to celebrate. I had a terrible birthday in 2007 because I had lost my mother two days earlier and her funeral hadn't even happened yet, so it represented that brief period of time between her death and the funeral where your mourning is at its height. As Christians, we don't mourn like you might expect because we believe that those who have trusted in Christ for salvation um, have gone on to be home, to be r restored with God. Though my mourning was difficult and though I still miss my mother, I look forward to the day I can see her again. But that doesn't mean that my birthdays aren't hard every year. So because 2007 was such a rough birthday for me, I kind of swore off birthdays for a while, at least until we had children who started to care enough to want to celebrate me. I realized that just because I don't really relish celebrating my own birthday, it doesn't give me a right to take that opportunity away from my kids and my wife to celebrate me and 
to lavish me with love because they love me and they want to celebrate my birthday. Our, our kids love birthdays, as you can tell. We make a big deal out of them, so it wouldn't be right of me to let my own uh, personal feelings affect the way my family is allowed to celebrate my birthday. So, though we don't go out of our way to do anything crazy typically, uh, we we do make a, a special time of it. For the last few days, actually, they've been lavishing me with kindness and doing special little things for me constantly, and it's just really cute to see our our kids all do that, and it's nice to feel loved. I figured I'd tell you that, because Katie asked about the photo. I figured I'd kind of let you into, you know, uh, the the tone that my birthdays have for me and why you don't see me getting excited for my own birthday it's it's just a it's still a rough day and i imagine it will be for a long time to come in fact the day she died september 11th is not as hard for me as my birthday is for some reason i told my wife that this year i said i don't know why i wake up on my birthday feeling especially sad but uh that's just the way it is oh she's home she went to get the kids a treat we're gonna watch a movie tonight and uh we actually need to talk to you all did you hear that thunder you just missed that thunder <laughs> she just got home is it starting to rain out there oh it's going pouring. oh boy so it's a good thing we're staying in tonight but anyways i want to tell you we need to tell you about what it was we were talking about at lunch. We said, speaking of this weekend, and then we didn't want to talk about it at lunch. We didn't want to be in a public place when we told you. We need to clue you in on what we're doing this weekend. It's gonna be a big deal. Let's go tell the kids. Let's go tell the kids about it. Okay, mommy and daddy have something to tell you, okay? And it's good news. We are going somewhere this coming weekend. Do you want to know where we're it's going? Friday. This oh, yes. Hit play, mom. Turn around. Well, it looks like a hotel, and we're gonna gamble. I'm no, just kidding. And that's that's where we're gonna eat dinner. We're going on a cruise. <laughs> we're going on a big old boat. Look, it's gonna show you all kinds of pictures from the boat. I was thinking about going on a. Stop. Yeah, baby, it's huge, like a huge boat. Going on a white saber. Okay, listen. Do you wanna know who's going with us? Yes. Grandma and Grandpa. <gasps> yeah. And Uncle Brian. <laughs> and Logan and Caleb, you get to share a room with Uncle Brian. You get to bunk with him. Like bros. Yeah. Yeah! Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Well, Daddy, You're going to be with Mommy and Daddy. Yeah! <laughs> Mommy and Daddy. Oh. But no dog, Dina. What do you mean? <gasps> they have guys living in an arcade. That's not an arcade. And we're uh, not going that's there. That's definitely not an arcade. But what'd you say, Timmy? Dope. Clothes, yes. Clothes? Mommy's, packing. Mommy's already packing for us. Well, Mommy's already been working on it. She's been packing. You've been keeping me away from knowing. Yeah, we've been keeping it a secret. Yes. Katie actually asked the other night, she's like, why has mom been doing all this laundry? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to a cabin. Going to the cabin? So this is a Bahama cruise. It's the kids, all of their first time ever going on a cruise. It's Melanie and I's only second time ever being on a cruise together. Our okay, first, yeah. yeah, our first cruise was Hawaii. Hawaii. And wow, did that take the cake. So this one's gonna this have may a- not, This may not be as good. <laughs> this is probably not gonna top it, no matter how good it is. You can't top Hawaii when you've been there. But the kids are gonna have such a blast. And we're really, we're not going for my birthday, by the way. We're going to celebrate Melanie's mom's birthday. And we won't tell you what age she's turning, birthday. but it is a milestone birthday. Hey, let's surprise her and go on a cruise. So it's gonna be fun. We, go right now. we can't go right now, but we'll go soon. Five days, guys. Four more days. Oh, by the way, <laughs> we we have to explain our couch cushion. We have four little monkeys, and they decided to jump <coughs> on our couches and break the springs because we have an inner spring couch. So this is Caleb's seat right now. It's many pillows compacted down. I was joking with Melanie that we need to get a bean bag for that spot. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna close the video out for today. We wanted to share that information with you so you could be excited because we know the zoo family loves when we travel. So get excited. So you'll get like four videos in a row that are us traveling, either getting on, spending the day, or getting off a boat. Four travel videos in a row. We hope you love it. We hope you get excited like we're getting excited. Everyone say, please subscribe! We hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe, comment, and share. We'll see you tomorrow.